Okay. Back to doing ether quests. I'm going to do about half of these ether quests and maybe their follow-up lines if I come across them and save the rest for tomorrow. That way I can have the full verse done in my titles for the streams. After I... Um, I have a question. Are we doing the raids? Sure. It is Monday. We, yeah. we have to finish. Yes, we do. I mean, I think I got my rewards. I think I got all my rewards for it, So, but I don't care. I'm going to do them anyway because I want to practice. To Wait, where do you have, do you have left? Maybe didn't we do three? Like, you have only one. We have to do two of them, though, because Fury didn't get his piece of gear from that. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Say, aren't you the one who was stirring up a fuss in town not long ago? I could use a capable hand like yours if you'd be willing to lend it. The name's Tonzo. I'm not from around here, truth be told. <laughs> Oh, come on. I live in Luwateninyawasa. But I... Luwateninyawasa. Uh-huh. But I'm here visiting my grandson. I was excited to see him after so long. But then I spied him dealing with some unsavory-looking man, exchanging unusually large sums of money. I confronted him about what I saw, but he'll say little more than, it's just a misunderstanding, then grumble as he changes the subject. I realize this is sudden, but could you see if there's anything to be done to help him? He's in trouble, I just know it. I, I go find and go talk to his son, and turns out he's just a prostitute. Oh, a weight's been lifted off my heart. Bless you, sir. His name's Itequa. <coughs> Last I saw him, he was heading inside this here saloon. The Tonowata with the red cap pulled down over his face to cover those bruises, most like. You can't miss him. Bruises. Okay, he's definitely a prostitute and not a very well-treated one. Now to obsessively check to make sure... <clears throat> yep, my mic's being breaded. Uh And you guys, I know I've seen the, the my audio mixer boop when when you guys talk, but say something. Boop, boop, boop. Yep, working. And uh, yes, recording, because red dot and recording. Yeah. You know what would be funny? Um, <clears throat> if these wanted posters here on the... Um, on... Uh, on the saloon were like actual hunter marks like instead of hunting like in this expansion instead of hunting uh beasts in this region i mean like maybe also beasts but instead but like and not if not, instead of just hunting beasts you could hunt these actual people or they could be fates that that would be fun too This guy's here is just dancing without any music. Mr. Thankred Hair. Ah, thank you for that nice uh, hour in the broom. See you next time. Hmm? A new face in town, eh? Well, what can I do for you? Your father uh, is not picking up the hint, and he's very worried about you. <laughs> Thinks I'm in trouble, does he? There he goes, jumping to conclusions as usual. I thought it'd be less of a hassle if I didn't tell him. But truth is, I've been helping other folk in town with their money troubles. Matter of fact, the man you saw leaving just a moment ago is one of my clients. His money trouble is... uh. He had too much of it and uh, needed a couple of uh, polishes of the old knob, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, 
knob of my thing for some reason. <laughs> I should probably explain from the beginning. You see, when a man has a need... <laughs> my work involves loading guilt to folks having trouble with corn for one reason or another. There's a reason I don't lend them Pell, but I'll get to that in a moment. It's because Pell is a fucking insane system. And I like using foreign currency for some reason. So you're just you're just a lone shark. I need to kill him. My family's lived here long before there was ever a town here. But then people moved in and they started expanding. Before long, Kamaka's family approached us about selling our land. It was around that the time when trade overseas was gaining in popularity. I had it on good authority that Gil was on its way to becoming common currency here in the wilds, so I decided to sell the land for Gil and use those funds to start my business. Sure enough, everything went as expected, and the business is starting to do well. It's not without its troubles, seeing as money is involved, but I never lent to any unsavory types. Yeah, why not simply explain all this to your grandfather? I need to, I need to remember Wild's voice is deeper. I stop, I keep raising my voice, tightening my voice. The whole point of me keeping quiet was so I wouldn't make him worry. Seems my silence only made things worse. I don't understand how that would keep him from worrying. They found himself in a real tight corner once. Gills were gotten there, and now he wants nothing to do with the stuff. He does know that just because he uses a different form of currency, it's still the same kind of issue. When I told him about my idea to sell the land, the moment Gil came out of my mouth, his whole mood turned sour. He said he'd put everything in my name and whatever happens after that is on me. It's not exactly easy to bring up my work, but when it involves the one, when it involves the one thing he seems to hate more than anything. But maybe it's time I change that. This job does more than just put food on the table. I'm able to help people, help this town. But how do I get to see that? How do I get to see that sex work is work? I've got it. You're going to come and watch me work. Whoa, sir. Sir, that's a little uh, forward. I mean, okay. Grandpa won't hear anything I have to say if it involves Gil, but he might come around to a first-hand account from you. So come and see what my good work does for Husatawi Husa, and how I help the people here. He did send you to help me, didn't he? I promise to make it worth your while. Wink, wink. speak with him again I okay right then before we get started I should probably know who it is I'm working with intimately if you know what I mean uh, uh, my name is wild uh, wild eh well wild our, our first job is to go and see a miner named Wakwaze he had a bit pretty bad accident on the job a while back had no money for treatment or much of anything really so I loaned him all the I loaned him the gill he needed to keep on his feet now it's well past time he returns what he owes, and he hasn't said a word. There's been no time enough for him not to not only return back to work, but also receive his wages. Several times, in fact. I need you to come with me and break his legs. He usually comes here into town when he's not working, and he's shipped in soon. Meet me just outside of town. If we're lucky, we'll catch him just as he arrives. And I don't think he'll need a couple of his fingers, either. I don't know, maybe the appearance of the giant black ev purple evil dome of lightning threw him off and uh, has kind of, and maybe he's kind of mourning some missing friends and family he might have known from there. Technically speaking, that's before the dome. Oh yeah, that's true. Expli Not very long before the dome, because like, you get that quest available the moment you return to uh, 
you get the quest to return to the to Loyola, but yeah, it's right before. Explain yourself, Wakwaze. You're here for the money. Uh, I was gonna pay, honest. I just mixed up the dates is all. Can't we sell this later? I'm busy. I know you're lying, Wakwaze. And you're not going anywhere till you, until you can look me in the eye and tell me wh why you're late paying me back. He's obviously hiding something. Uh, but I'm not looking to start trouble. I don't suppose there's anything you can do to uh, persuade him. Maybe a little flex to show him we're serious. But uh, you did bring me out here to intimidate him. The hell's wrong with you? Uh, I'd never dream of hurting him. He's a good customer. Very, uh, very, very full of stamina. But I'm willing to bet a quick flex would be enough to show him we're serious. Don't look at me like that. I just forgot what the money was due, I swear. Oh, yeah? Okay. You need a flex, uh, eh? How's about this for a flex? <laughs> you gads, look at those arms. And those outrageously taut neck muscles. And those salacious pecs. And those washboard abs. Fine, fine. Just put all of that away. And yet you still stand there shirtless the whole time. Yep. It's all here, and with interest. If you had the money, why go through all the trouble of avoiding me? Uh, when I was still on the mend, my lady friend re took really good care of me, see. I wanted to buy her something fancy to thank her, and, well... Oh, you're still with her? What are you doing with that? Why are you living a lie, man? <laughs> I understand. Really, I do. But if you really want to make her happy, you need to get your life together. I'm willing to give you a loan one last time, but we're going to have a long talk about how, you, how to manage your savings first. Uh, you're right. What good am I to her if I'm out on the street without a gill or even a pelt to my name? I'll give it some thought, and we can talk later. Oh my god, his ass is amazing! I can't blame him for wanting to show his appreciation to a loved one, but it's no excuse to get carried away with his spending. So, what do you think of my job? The money I loaned him paid for his treatment and supported him through his recovery. That has to count for something, right? You're a lone shark. I am still not convinced. Well, there's always our next client. When you're ready, we can be on our way. I mean, I'm not going to finish all the, the quests here, so or all the, the flying quests. I might as well start this. Let's get back to it, then. I should warn you, the next client I had in mind may be something of a hassle. You might have to break all of his toes. He ran off in the middle of the night, and I haven't seen hide nor hair of him since. And I desperately, desperately want to see hide of him. Luckily for, luckily for us, I heard from an acquaintance of mine that some, that someone fit in his description was seen lurking around the Shaktural sky gate. We're looking for a minstrel named Zem, Zemeshpe. Hetsaro with black hair, about the same age as me, and surprisingly shy. Very shy. I'll meet you there.
What an odd choice for uh, a continuing store uh, quest line to to help out a lone shark. I know that was him, but I kind of want to see this uh, Ouija here. Oh, youthful Hetzero. Zemeshbe, sorry. The name doesn't ring any bells. That said, I think I saw young Hetzero head over to the other side of the rail trailhead. Poor boy looked upset about something. I couldn't be bothered. I was too busy tending to my luscious locks. This is not the man you're looking for, but you seem hot in their trail. Perhaps you'll have better luck searching the other side of the trailhead, as he suggests. You may have better luck looking around on the other side. Looking around the other side of the trailhead. I. I uh, Hello. Ew. Man bun. Ew. Ah. Wait, am I looking for a... I'm looking for a... Uh, Hetzero. Which is a rabid person, so this is like... Why would I ask... I mean, I guess asking him for information. Sorry, friend. Hetzero's a cat voice. Or, wait, what? Oh, wait, that was it. Was that a cat boy then? I, I, I remember him being a, a bunny. It was definitely a cat boy. That I was talking to? Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> I, he, I don't know. He had red hair, and for some reason I still say to that with bunnies. Interesting. Yeah, or that exact shade of red hair. No, no, it wasn't. No, no. What am I stupid? What am I saying? No, not, not the color. It's, um,. It's the length of a hair. I'm used to bunnies having really long hair for some reason. Mainly because I'm thinking of the ones from the Raktika Great Wood. Although they're all women, so that's why they had long hair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sorry, friend. I don't know anyone by that name. Before you go, you wouldn't happen to have any tuna, would you? I'm positively parched. You're, you're thirsty and you want food. I wish I could help you, but I don't know any Zemeshpe. Why the hell did I see you as a bunny? That's so weird. Oh, that that looks like a Hitaro that's hiding behind some barrels. Yep. I thought... Didn't he say other side of the trailhead? I thought that would take me out of here. Oh, well. Oh, this place is called the trailhead. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm going to talk to him in a second. I just want to make sure there's no one else to talk to because I dislike missing optional things. Huh. Is that guy, is this a guy supposed to be like a lance, a, a lancer? With that, is that supposed to be a spear? I don't know that it is. Because like, what? More like a, a, like a stick that, it looks like a viper when they're in two-handed weapon mode. Yeah, but there's no way this can split into two weapons. I know. New class who dis? <laughs> Quarter ma qu Quarterstaff Quarter master. master. Yeah. Huh? Probably the, probably the, fu the future possible who knows healer that, it, that we all want to be, you know. Uh, you know what? The name the uh, the geomancer probably it's gonna be quarter staffer. I don't know. Uh, no. to be a chemist, and I want the next DPS to be um, a, a melee like quarter staff user, just like oh, you know what? Super fast, like you know, you know what he is? He's an acrobat. Acrobat could be it, yeah. yeah. Huh? huh? Who, who are you? Oh, I could easily see acrobat being a mix, like a dancer, but physical. Not dancer, uh, fucking red mage, but physical only. Like it's ranged attack. Pro it would probably be most of the time in melee range, and every now and again, like have those long range movement attack in, in their uh, in their. Oh, ship. I was thinking it'd be dancer, but melee. Well, that too, but I like you know. <clears throat> I feel like acrobat would probably have a few like. Ooh, I I, I started running around because I can. <laughs> Yes, I'm Zemeshpe, but wh what do you want with me? 
You found him. Nice work, Wild. Let's break his toes. Zitequa, what are you doing here? Looking for you. I want those toes. Word around town was you were in a hurry to leave to Yokteral, but I'm afraid I can't let you leave just yet. He may not look it, but Zimeshwa is quite the popular minstrel in Husatawi. Or at least he was. It's been what feels like an age since he last wrote a song, and you can only make so much singing and you can only make so much singing the same old same old tune day in and day out. The Meshva came to me for help, and I gladly offered him a loan. It should have been enough to help him get by until inspiration struck. You don't know when inspiration is going to strike. You don't know what it's like to have artists or writers block. But, but it hasn't. And with no money to pay you back, I, I panicked. Maybe if I sold my instruments, I... Those instruments are your livelihood. I could never ask you to do such a thing. You always serenaded me after one of our sessions. I how I couldn't live with myself if you got rid of them. Here, give me your hand. In marriage. <laughs> there, thank you for giving me your hand. This is... But, but I've yet to return what I already owe. What you need is to meet new people, see new places, experience more of the world than just Husawat, Husatawi. A minstrel's inspiration doesn't, come, doesn't just come from thin air, right? You're not wrong. Hey, hey, Mindu, you need to go fight some very, very, very dangerous battle and then go talk to a wanderer and minstrel. He's going to give you plenty of songs that are very dangerous. Yeah, just just do some plagiarism. <laughs> or why don't I? Or no, Wild is like, oh hey, why don't I tell you some of my stories about my recent battles? And then just just there's a, you feel a dark presence behind you, and the wandering minstrels behind me, just like I have proprietary rights on your stories. You're not wrong. All I could think about was how my songs weren't good enough anymore. How everyone was disappointed in me. My heart was so full with fear and anxiety, I guess there was no room left for music. So take that money and go to Yachtaral. And for the next month, I want you to travel. See everything there is there, there is to see. Find your muse. And bring back the Zmeshpe we all know and love. Thank you, Zitekwa. I won't let this go gill go to waste, I swear it. I don't know, I feel like you probably said that last time, too. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Navy, are you playing Final Fantasy? I'm online. Hey, Fear, you should give him his gift. Um, yeah, once in a little while, when I take it, when I take a break and go to be right back screen. Uh, because I'm, I'm not gonna say that on stream. Well, actually, I guess I don't have to. I can just write, type it in and, uh, send it to him. All right, well, all right. So, what do you think? A job well done, wouldn't you say? Isn't it risky loaning to people who run off like that? I also forgot to put my shirt back on. Oh, I don't mind that. What? Not, not one bit, sir. What do you expect me to do? I'm not a monster. Besides, I see this as more of an investment for the future. There's still one last client left on my list. One more opportunity for you to learn about my work. Yay, level 97. I can now do this as my... Uh, I can now farm Vanguard as a samurai and get striking. So Tekwa's next client is an unexpected addition to the list. It's his own father. Oh, no. Ready? Good. We're off to see a young dancer by the name of Tan Tamezi. She's pretty famous in Husatawi with fans all across Saloni. It was a real shame when she had to quit on account of being so sick. 
The medicine she needed was expensive, to say the least, but I footed the bill. She reached out to me not long ago with the good news that she's not only fully recovered, but looking to start dancing again. There's going to be a comeback performance soon, but she asked me to stop by to discuss something beforehand. Can't imagine what, though. There's still plenty of time before she needs to make her first payment. In any case, let's go and pay her a visit. I can drive. She was so sickly and pale last I saw her. What a relief to see she's doing well. I wonder if... I already used a stamina joke. I can't use that again. Let's uh, see, what's your voice going to be? Uh, Can I do a valley girl voice? I don't think so. <clears throat> Zatequa, it's so good to see you. Oh, and you brought a friend. Well, let me get right to the point. I want you to help my promote my upcoming show. And I want you to do it with dancing. D dancing? You can't be serious. Yeah, he's a loan shark lady, not a... He's not a dancer. I mean, I, I can be a dancer, but I'm currently not. A far more exciting alternative to standing idle passing around flyers, surely. And I've seen how well you can dance after you had a few drinks at the saloon. Look, look, that's 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 on client time and, and client coin, okay? I don't do that for free. I don't do the horizontal dancing doesn't count. <laughs> look, I need a pull. I can't do that just all around the town. All the proceeds will go toward repaying my debt to you with the interest. So the more people there are in attendance, the sooner you can be repaid in full. And your friend here. He's not from Tyrell, is he? I have no doubt he knows a step or two that'll draw the eyes of Pastor Evan Spy. So, what do you say? Oh, God damn it! they're gonna make me do this stupid dance emote. You know, two steps. Standard and, uh, technical. Yeah. Well, I can improvise. That's true. Well, friend, I hope you're wearing your dancing shoes. We must go and dance for the good folks of Husatawi. Let's go and gather what interest we can in the show and meet here afterward. Oh, I can't wait to do this quest of the Rogadin with the stupid Rogadin dance. Oh, God. What was the Rug What's the Rogadin dance again? It's the shitty tab dance. Oh, uh, yeah. And the fucking... Alright, I don't even have dance on my uh, here. If I'm not mistaken, it's like the weird tribal one for Rothgar's. Yeah. It's just the... Ugh, God, I hate it. Like, when it comes to da to da doing dancing emotes for quests, you should be allowed to do any dance there is. I mean, there would be people like me then that would only do the duck dance. The duck dance? Yeah, you have it, I think. I can't remember. The old dance? The what? I feel like the old dance is a... Uh... Yeah, it's the duck dance. It's a whole e lot of duck Emotes, emotes. Slash y'all. Oh. oh. That one. You know. <gasps> Wait, do I not have that? Y'all dance. It's you're gonna oh. dance with it, but it, it's it's one of the beast tribes. It's like it's a crafting beast tribe. If you okay, yeah, yeah, no, I, I definitely have it. You know, the chicken dance. I don't, don't remember. I don't know how you call it, but 
Bob the Wings. Yeah. <laughs> it's the it's the fuck it's the the fish people. The Namazu? Oh, the Namazu. Okay, no wonder it looks so ridiculous. Yeah. Where is it? Uh, it's not in general. It's in, it's in your dances. Oh, special. Oh, okay. Well, technically, it's in the like the ones that don't stop because that's what it is. General one stop oh, on their own. There it is. Other ones tend to not. Yeah, I like. Come on, I, I should be able to do. Uh, it's not these dances are my favorite. My favorite is the gold dance. We should be able to do any dance we want for this sort of thing. Alas, we cannot. Maybe, can you do me a favor and join, and join the activity? Ball dance is cute too. What? Uh, I'm doing an activity in Discord. Can you do me a favor and join? No. And see what, what happens in your screen? Why? <laughs> that what was are you seeing? Uh, it's my first time here. I have a roll 20 account. Ah, apparently roll 20 make uh, a Discord play in Discord thingy. Interesting. <clears throat> Tono Watson Worker. What's all this now? If you're wanting a drink, I suppose I can call the boys for a round or two. A dance, you say? Gold dance. Earrings. What are you looking Boom. at, Navy? I am doing roulette. Fine. I just and, want to know. Uh, if, I just want to know how what people are seeing because supposedly I, I am the, the game master. And uh, I got a Gaia on my alliance raid for my cat boy, and I'm happy. That's some mighty fine footwork you got there. Reminds me of Tom Tom Mezzi. This is for Tom Mezzi. A comeback show, really? No time for drinking then. We best get ready for the show. Eee. I was gonna say for fuck's sake, but actually I'm okay if, if they take my level one hundred on my journal. You're about to be. Them. You're about to be out of a job, sir. Tom Ezzy's amazing. She dances to actual music. Content Pelu Pelu. Something you need? I've just finished buying my tuna, but I can spare some time before. Oh, right, before it needs to be stored. Uh, yeah, right, no, no. Pelu Pelu, uh, speak with sinister voices. For some strange reason. But because they're capitalists, you can't trust them. Goodness! What did I do to deserve this performance? The comeback performance of a famed dancer? I've never seen one of these shows before. But it would make for a wonderful story to share when I return home. I'll have to stop by and see it. Have you business for the dust watch? Apologies, sir, but we're off duty. Might I suggest you speak with someone inside? A dancer, eh? Not sure what we did to deserve this entertainment, but thank you. Oh, I see. I heard she retired after falling ill. 
Did she say she's back and planning a performance? We'll certainly not want to miss it. Yahoo! Yay! Yeah! Might as well unlock this a little bit. exhausted. Aw, did the client take out a bit too much out on you? You're all tuckered out. Client too rough on you? <sighs> She's drawn uh, uh, quite a crowd, even after all this time. Uh, uh, fans adore her. Oof. I may have gotten a little carried away with my dancing, but people seem to enjoy it. <laughs> Which hopefully means more people are attending the show. That dancing takes a lot of upper body str and core strength. Seeing as we have time before the end of her show... Now might be a good time to tell you more about how I started this business. I said my grandpa found himself in a tight quarter once because of Gil. Hmm. <sighs> that was a long time ago, before selling our land, before I was even born. Even when Husatawi was little more than a sparse collection of shops, it still saw its fair share of trades in passing through. My father and grandpa made their living catching and selling games for them to them for Pell. Then one day, while trying to sell more game, a merchant told them that Gil would soon become the currency of the choice in Shaloni, that they'd better be better off exchanging all their Pell for Gil while there was still time. Unable to see through the lies, they played into the scheme, trading away all their hard-earned pell at horrible rates. With only a paltry sum of gill left in their names, they were at a loss. Then they met the women, woman who would eventually be my mother. She was deeply moved by their plight, and so she lent them the money she had been saving to start a new life in Tuliolal. You can't put a price on such an act of selflessness, which is why, when they learned what savings were for, they opened their home to her until they could repay their debt. The three began a new life together. Years passed. And by the time the debt had been repaid, my parents had already fallen in love. I just read Leon's reply. I think he doesn't want to play a caster. Hmm. I think he doesn't like casters. I see. He's annoyed at his like fucking attack like attack proficiency and his armor proficiency. Like, don't play a caster if you want good attack proficiency and good armors. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe like. There was a time when before I started. I don't know how experienced Leon is in uh, like tabletops, but like there was a time, you know. I, I remember when I uh, was first gonna play like D and D, like Five E. Um, I think it was Five E. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I I had it in mind that I wanted to play like somebody that you know was a, like a physical fighter, but used magic to sort of like enhance their stuff. Um, but nothing i don't think really anything quite fit that too much i mean maybe paladin which is what i i played for the first time um but that's pro i wonder if that's what he was thinking like he wanted he he uh he was wanting to be a physical fighter and have magic in his repertoire to just assist him in that 
But alas, uh, the, the class build does not work for that. It's a story my mother told me often as a child before bed, before they, before they passed away. If not for my mother's kindness, I wouldn't be here. And all I've ever wanted was to follow in her footsteps. That's why I sold our land and started my business. I think your grandfather would understand if you told him. I mean, this is perfectly understandable. That's assuming he'll stop to listen. That's where you come in. <laughs> well, I imagine it won't be much longer before Tom Messi is finished. Ew, piety. Imagine somebody buys you a meal and and you get it and you just grimace and you're like, oh, this gives me terrible stats. Seems it'll be a while longer, so you don't have to wait here with me for Tom Mezzi. Besides, isn't it about time you were trying to speak with my grandfather? I think by now you've seen all there is to see of my work. I'm fairly sure I saw him over at, near the saloon, so go ahead and give him your be honest thoughts about my work. Go on, Wild. I trust you'll know what to tell my grandpa. Man, we don't even get to see the dance. You're back. Tell me true, traveler. What sort of trouble has my grandson been up to? Dealing in loans and swindling people out of their pell? I'm sh and swindling people out of their pell, I'm sure. Gods, I thought we raised him better than that. I can't believe he's become a filthy prostitute. No, you have it all wrong. He's been helping people. He just wants to carry on his parents' legacy. Uh, he wants to carry on his parents' legacy. I'm not going to say being a loan shark is helping people. Two of the gentlest souls I've ever known. And you say he means to follow in their footsteps? You say he, he's over at the dance hall, right? I made up my mind. I need to see what's become of my grandson with my own eyes. I need to know he's all right. It should be fine if I observe from a distance. Of course, these old bones don't move as fast as they used to. You go on ahead. I'll be right behind you. I'll need a little time to make it over to the dance hall, but I'll be there. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, none. Show is a huge success. Thanks to no small part of your help. Here, as promised. This is far more. This is far more than what we agreed on. I can't accept this. Oh, don't be silly. I only wish I, that I had more to offer. I could never have hoped to afford that medicine from Tuli Yolal. And I had made peace with the consequences of that, grim though that may sound. But you wouldn't hear it. You loaned me the money I needed for a treatment, and here I am, taking the stage again. A dream come true in every sense of the word. You've given me a second chance at life, and for that I'll be forever grateful.
I think I've seen enough. I don't need to see my prostitute grandson cavorting with other prostitutes. Grandpa, what are you doing here? I wish to see what an upstanding individual my grandson's become. And thanks to the two of you, my heart is at ease. I carried so much resentment for those moneylenders. I assumed the worst when I heard about your job. I was blinded to the good you could do, and the people you could help, like your mother helped me and your father once upon a time. I've learned that loan sharks are good. You reach out a hand to those who find themselves on the brink of ruin, and with the greatest of care, you pull them back. Ah, I, I suppose I do. But I'm sorry I didn't talk to you sooner. I was convinced you'd be cross to me and didn't know how to broach a topic without upsetting you. Always so considerate. This town could stand to see a little more of that. I'd like to hear more about your job, if that's all right. After you finish work for the day, of course. Well, our business here is finished, so don't let me keep you. <clears throat> Go and put that extra gear I gave you to good use of soon. You're deter- Oh, no. Uh, you're determined to keep see me keep it, aren't you? Well, I suppose Grandpa and I have a lot of catching up to do. You go ahead. You go on ahead to the saloon. I had to speak with Wild just for for just a little bit. Thank you for all your help. I was able to I was more than a little shocked to see you here with Grandpa, but I'm glad we are finally able to we are finally able to talk. I owe you a great debt, Wild, and I'll do my damnedest to repay it to try and repay it someday. If you ever find yourself having trouble with coin, I hope you'll think to call on me. Uh, I, I sure hope that, you know, if I after bar I mean, I don't think I'll ever I'm have trouble to say that like my dude, you don't know the amount of gill that Fury has. This is... <laughs> Sir, I am the treasurer of my grand company. You, I, I do not worry for gill. If I do become destitute, I'll just make it all back by crafting. <laughs> also, I hope if you, you know, if I have to call on you for money... You'll see it as you repaying me rather than me taking out a loan because you owe me a debt. I hope you don't forget that. Uh, if he shows up again, I'm not going to remember his voice. I hardly could remember it this as I was doing his quests. Amepia. <clears throat> if you're planning to explore the local area, you may as well make yourself useful in the process. 
Welcome, traveler. I wonder if you're, if while you're out exploring, you might be able to do me a small favor. Oh wait, you're an old lady. There's an old cave near that like nearby where my daughter has gone to offer her prayers, but she's forgotten the all-important fish oil candle. I would take it to her myself if it weren't for this terrible pain in my foot. Oh, it hurts something fierce. It does. Do you think you give her this fish oil candle for me? The cave entrance isn't too far from here, but the tunnel leads tunnels lead deep into the mountain and are home to all kinds of critters. Best keep your eyes peeled for trouble. Not too far from here. That is like all the way over there. Wow, she went all this way past the friggin' dinosaurs. Uh, she's probably worried about prairie dogs. Something I can help you with? Here, take this fish oil candle. You came all the way to deliver this? I'm awful grateful to you and to my mom for realizing I'd forgotten to bring a candle. You see, the caverns are these caverns are sacred ground, where we come to pray our far to our ancestors for the and to the more recently deceased. These flames provide the living a way to commune with the dead. Thanks to you, I can light a candle on my own and say a little prayer. <clears throat> uh -huh. I, I keep needing to rub my eyes and. That's just making my eyelids all sensitive. <sighs> Since you're here, Maybe you could stand before the flames and offer a few words to your departed loved ones. It don't matter where you're all from. All spirits are welcome here, living or dead. Wild is thinking of um, <clears throat> Orchifont, um, Moonbreda, Minfilia. Ah, who else is there? All the. Huh? Oh, yeah, Galul. Galul. Galuljaja. 
uh, all the scions we lost back in Realm Reborn. And after. Uh, oh, right, Papa Limo. Yes. One of the rare good potatoes. Yeah. Meanwhile, Telegia Adelegia, I hope you're burning in the seventh hell. That would be too good for him. <clears throat> Let's see, who am I am I forgetting anyone else? Cause so few people die. <clears throat> Welcome back. I'm guessing you're able to find my daughter, no doubt in her usual spot. She never was one to do things the easy way. You know, as much of a stickler for traditions as she is, she actually actually works for the railroad company. Still, I gotta hand it to her. She manages to work toward a promising future without losing sight of her roots. I sure am proud of her, but don't tell her I said that, will you? Wouldn't want her getting a big head or nothing. Certainly wouldn't want her to have a positive relationship with me, her mother. She's always got to feel like I'm disappointed in her and that she can't ever measure up. How else will she accomplish anything? Well, I'd say that me and my da and that daughter of mine have taken up enough of your time. But it was awful nice meeting you. Thanks a million for helping us out. Well, that's two of the uh, Ether Current quests out in this uh, region. Now, like I said, I'm going to go over to Tuliolol and uh, and do some uh, roll quests. Oh god. What's up? The sage. What are you doing? Is acting so I leveling. Oh. On my cat boy, right? Uh-huh. And I got you could that Thumu, level ninety one. Okay. Which is nice. Like that's good XP. This We're on the boat on four single poles. Uh oh. And this this healer is Ukrainian prognosing me and prognose or diagnosing me and I'm like these are single poles and you're healing me? Oh god. What kind of incompetent com incompetent healer are you? A very incompetent one. God. Brooke Evu has an urgent job for a courageous soul. That's a level 90 quest. Might as well give one of my lore classes some XP for that. <clears throat> Wild, I was wondering when you'd be along. No, no. Not the moment too soon either. I've got an urgent job that needs doing, and there's no one else I'd entrust with it. Of course, you'll be wanting to know the details, so it's a long story. Uh oh. No, no, no. 
Oh, thank goodness it didn't immediately put me into a cutscene. I have a few things to finish up here before I join you. Make yourself comfortable, Wild. It's going to be quite the yarn. No, no, he, you don't get a southern accent. You have to have a, the accent these people ha have. <clears throat> I see. No, I don't want to do this as my... Uh... Yeah, well, I'll take off my head. Um, that'll be fine. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see. Uh, what are these people's accents again? Now that we're all settled, allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm Brukevu, proprietor of Chevalier of Thai. As you know, my establishment is open to anyone. People hailing from across Tural, and sometimes further, come here to whet their appetite and slake their thirst. <clears throat> Given how we turn no one away, it's invariable that a few bad apples might mix into my monthly patrons, and therein lies the rub. A particular rotten bunch we were here not long ago. <clears throat> Sitting over there, in fact, and having a conversation most foul. They were talking about putting fish and vegetables into bread and baking it and eating it. It was horrifying for a restaurant profiteer such as myself. I thank you all for coming here so far from your respective homes. It'd be hilarious if we got like an echo flashback instead of this. A mammoth? Hey, she's dressed like an astrologian. As this is the first time we have all gathered in one place, perhaps formal introductions are in order. I'm the Queen of Moons. I am. <laughs> welcome, welcome. What'll you be having? Ahem. Could we have a moment, please? We are in the middle of something very important. Don't fucking raise your hand then. Now then, where was I? I am the Queen of Moves. <laughs> I am a, a Piahi. If you're sitting here now, it is because I have personally invited you to the Passage of the Unbound. My... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> My secretive, villainous order with ambitions to sow discord throughout the world. The fuck? <clears throat> Villains do not often call themselves such. Nor do secret orders have their meanings in places where all eyes can see. What do you know? Your snide remarks only ruin my carefully constructed atmosphere. If I had time to think of a suitable slogan, you would understand that words are everything. But I digress. I invited you all here for one reason. To throw the world into a mire of chaos and then watch its nations crumble. What else would we call ourselves if not villainous? These people are so over the top, I am surprised that Hildebrand isn't involved. My only interest is to punish all who've dared to mock and belittle me. So long as I achieve that, you can call me whatever you like. The rich, the powerful, the mighty, all shall be crushed under the weight of my ire. As Puppy would say, based. <clears throat> I 
A grand design for a group of six. Even if we manage to muster others to our side, there's a limit to what we can accomplish. I regret to say you are right. At present, we are bound and powerless. That is why, in order to raise our fists against our oppressors, we must find the strength to shatter our shackles. And in so doing, we shall become unbound. Like the birds soaring up above, we shall take flight and spread our wicked wings, staining the azure skies black. <laughs> yeah. Is it supposed to be raining or is that just my weather? Okay, yeah, no, it's supposed to be raining. Ah, uh, but sometimes skies become treacherous with clouds and even birds must rest. You speak of finding strength. Is that why we are here? To look for it? If so, then I pledge my aid. With newfound might in my beck and call, I shall win adoration known only by a hero. Your eagerness is heartening, and you are correct. The tools to make our goal a reality lay in Tural. Across this continent can be found certain artifacts which possess untold power. <gasps> mm. Mm. Uh. Did you say artifacts? Oh, I sense an adventurous hunt for instruments of, the, of devious devilry indeed. <laughs> my imagination is overflowing with images of the new forms my trickery might take. I dare say the world is not ready. Yes, well, to get to the heart of the matter, the objects are held by the disparate tribes which make their homes in the Toral continent where they have been passed down through generations as sacred treasures. Whatever stories these people have attached to their so-called treasures matters not. Each contained the essence of fearsome beasts called Toral Vidral, and with them in our possession, none shall be able to stand against us. We shall take the objects for ourselves, bring them across the sea, and use them to undermine nations far and wide. The means by which you each choose to do so, I leave in your hands. I ask only that you do not disappoint. Do not disappoint the Queen of Moons. I take it there are no questions. Then let the passage of the Unbound open into unto the world. We begin at once. They didn't alter a single thing. That's the long and short of it. I don't know. That's the long and short of it. What do you think? Let me give them the tip because at this point they're just fucking using it every other spell. You really don't need to heal me this much, Yoda. <clears throat> God, it's DPS. Half your spell shouldn't be fucking equation shit. Hmm. They lack discretion. How would I think they seem formidable? They seem like idiots to me. They left without ordering anything. Villainous indeed. Dis. Despicable. I will have their heads. It's right there in their name. They're unbound by manners and respect. And you won't be welcome back here any anytime soon. You, on the other hand, can stay as long as you'd like. Oh, he's flirting with me. Of course, 
we had a duty to report what we heard to the Lands Guard. We did, but it didn't make a damn difference. Because soon we learned those unwelcome guests had teeth. Not long ago, one individual from a remote tribe came here seeking help recovering a stolen relic. Then another came with the same story. Then another, and another, and so on. By the time we realized the passage of the Unbound was a real threat, they had won and all made their way across the sea with their ill-gotten gains. Oh, I'm not going to fight them here? Okay. Each tribe has sent one of their own to recover what was lost, but in being strange, being in strange lands, they're at a disadvantage. That's why I've been looking for someone who knows every corner of Eorzea and beyond. Now, I know you've business in Tural, or else you wouldn't be here in the first place, but if you could take the time to hear Ral Majun out, you'd be doing a service to many who could really use a helping hand. Greetings. Allow me to thank you personally for, le for lending me your assistance in this matter. We've been quite desperate for someone suitable. Greetings, Raoul Majun. At risk of becoming a daily nuisance, I must ask, have there been any developments you might share? A nuisance? Why well, perish the thought? You've come just into just in time. In fact, another but the vaunted wild has agreed to aid to the search. To the search. Has, has agreed to aid to the search. I don't know. Finally, a fortunate turn. So long as our sacred treasures are in wicked hands, our home shall know no peace. To say nothing of the danger they pose to other nations. These thieves really do intend to stir up chaos across the seas. Then you had better depart on the next ship. They defend them, them, themselves, saying, It's mostly Cardia and my shield so I can get Toxicons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, spend two GCDs <clears throat> getting one Toxicon. It's not like you could use the Scrasia twice in the meantime. But before you... Tell him that, though. <clears throat> <clears throat> tell him to, you, that they gotta keep in mind like the time spent on using so many global cooldowns, I guess. I don't know. I mean, that's pretty much what I told them. It's like, sure, you you, you get one oh, you... You get one shield and one Toxicon, but two Discrasia is still more damage. Oh, okay. I thought I thought you said you didn't say. No, I, I did say that. Okay. But before you do, it might be proper to introduce you to those who have come to Tuliolal in search of aid. Lozenikwe there comes... Lozenikwe, there comes from a village far to the north. A single warrior cannot hope to withstand the power of her tribe's relic, so she requires a stout protector, someone that can be leaned upon when times are darkest. Dark, you say? The heirloom that Nipine 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 What the fuck? Accommodation. Must recover. Exactly. Fucking complain about the healer, I got a commendation. Cool. The heirloom that Nipin must recover afflicts terrible maladies upon its victims. He seeks someone who commands great healing magics to counteract this effect. The search for Shashepia's tribal treasure has been entrusted to a peerless hunter. She requires someone to act as a frontline fighter who can distract her target while her bow takes deadly aim. And lastly, there is Suhei, who knows little about her people's ancient artifact, aside that it must not fall into the wrong hands. She seeks a mage of great power, but anything beyond that lies shrouded in mystery. 
Aren't you forgetting someone, Rahul Jha? Your crisis is just as pressing, even if you won't say so yourself. Rahul Jha hails from further south than even Mamuk, and has traveled many days and nights in search of someone who can strike, drown, strike down their prey from afar. It's the only way to escape the effects of his village's treasure. Did I get that right? Indeed, indeed. I do go, get so forgetful in my old age. Thank you, Ral Majun. Five tribes, five stolen treasures. All are waiting for the aid of a brave soul. Hopefully that could be you, Wild. Of course, I'll share all that I know on the matter. You need on, you only need to ask. And know that I will not hold it against you should you choose to assist only those for whom your talents are best suited. So long as you do what you can, the people of Tural, and maybe even further, will, will be in your debt. Well, I want to start with a healer quest. Actually, what is she going to say? Ah, my game is lagging. Welcome, welcome. How goes the search for the treasures? If there's anything you'd like to ask me about, I should be happy to tell you all I can. Oi. What did that Apyahi call it again? Oh yes, a secretive villainous order. And of that I've no doubt. The six of them sat right over there and didn't order a single thing the whole time. Apyahi seemed to be their self-styled leader, and claimed their goals were to show discord throughout the world and make its nations crumble in the process. Stealing the treasures was only a means to this end, it seems. They succeeded in their initial goal and have since fled back across the sea. However, it would appear that each thief has retreated to a different destination. The retrieval of the treasures is paramount both to bring peace to these troubled peoples and to quell the threat of further evil. Ah, just cleaning these glasses. specs on them. Objects of incredible power, passed down through generations to clans hailing from all corners of Tural. Within each is sealed the essence of an animal which became a fearsome Tural Vidral, and these have come to be revered by their respective peoples. These treasures allow their wielder to harness the power of the beast within, within them, and thus do the clans protect their homes. But the origins of these relics are shrouded in mystery. None know who made them or why. 
The answer to some questions has simply been lost to time, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So given that the Tural Vidral um, seem to be like uh, auspices from the Far East, like I'm wondering if like they've just gone through their own Ari Aritama or whatever it's called, and you know they they could have been saved if they had been quelled or something. And now they're just sealed away in rocks to just fester in their negative emotions. Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it. Mm -hmm. What business do you have with me? I'm the answer to your prayers. Ah, my apologies. You were Brooke Evel's guest, were you not? I am Neopine, and I have journeyed far from the northern oh northern valleys of Shakhtarov. Okay, so you have a southern accent, uh, an American southern accent. I am Neopine, and I have journeyed far from the northern valleys of Shakhtarov to reach this grand city. Wait, right? Yes? Dr. All is south. Okay. Tell me, Traveler, what is your name? I am Wild Flame. Wild. Rest assured, I shall remember it. A shame that we must meet under these unfortunate circumstances. My village's prized possession was among the treasures stolen by the passage of the Unbound. It is known as the Heart String, and the soul of a dread scorpion, one of the Tural Vidral, is sealed within. The creature once hunted its prey using an array of toxins produced within its body, and was a menace to all. Those granted the Heart String's gift may wield as fearsome power as they see fit. We believe the thieves have already taken it across the ocean to Eorzea, and it will doubtless wreak havoc in the wrong hands. Thus, I seek a healer to remedy any harm wrought by the hot strings toxins in the faraway land. Just gonna clean a bit more. Oh, the fuck, what the fuck is it with healers today and overhealing? Uh. What are you doing now? MSQ roulette. Oh. New healer, just as bad. That sucks. <sighs> I won't miss word, mince words. You are precisely the sort of man I seek, and we must act quickly to avoid the worst. Will you lend us your aid? Uh, miracle, don't expect any miracles, as if miracles are my bread and butter. Aiding those in need is what I do best. You have my gratitude. To make the matter, to the matter at hand, then, while I was making inquiries here until the old, all regarding the thieves' whereabouts, some of yours, the merchants told me a rather intriguing tale. Specifically, those returning from Linz and Linza bring fell titans, tales of able-bodied men and women suddenly losing their vision. 
an all too familiar account, as the hot string allows mastery over all manner of poisons, including those inflict oh, temporary it's blindness. Red mages. I blame red mages. Oh. A great deal of training is required to properly utilize the scorpion's gifts, but the blinding toxin is one of the simplest to wield. It seems to me that the brigands are ma the masterminds of these strange incidents, harnessing the treasure's power for their own nefarious ends. Loshkana, the village, el village elder's daughter, makes for Limsa Mince in pursuit of the heartstring. I intended to set sail with her, but my foot was badly injured by a strange mechanical doll during the thieves' ambush. Loshkana insisted I remain here to recover, as she would not take no for an answer. I must ask that you I must ask that you cross the sea in my stead and provide Loshkana Loshkana your aid. Considering that our enemy wields deadly poisons, the great danger is far too great is too great for her to face alone. Based on what she, when when she departed, I presume she's arrived at her destination by now. She boarded a merchant's merchantman captain by a woman named Bald Brita. Okay. Who is primarily based in Limsa Lominsa. She may be able to help you locate Loshkna. Loshkana. Once you arrive in Limsa Lominsa, seek out a woman named Bald Brita at Black Docks. She will surely point you in the right direction. <clears throat> right, sorry, I'm dozing off there. <clears throat> we should do stuff here. We should. I think it's about time that we eat so i might take a might take a brief break to heat up some food that's fair and then we'll do stuff <clears throat> okay i'm just uh gonna go ahead and um go ahead and pause the recording and uh and well ah damn it i pressed the wrong tab but i pressed the wrong button Okay, pause. Uh, <clears throat> let me just get to the place really quick. Where is it? Swing a thing, not where it is normally. The quest line is called. The quest is called in the sting of things. Nor it's bit the 
the the pun is based off of like you know in the swing of things like i'm trying to remember but my my sleepiness addled brain is having troubles okay I'm going to pause recording now and back all right we're still waiting for a puppy to to finish his phone call so i'm gonna just continue with this now that i'm no longer falling asleep <laughs> i I am blood bald Brida, and if you ever planning to sell your healing services to me and my crew, don't miss shipping sent sale for a short while. Eh, looking for a Tarali woman named Lorshkana. Aye, she made the crossing with us, tried to, trying to retrieve some sort of treasure, as I recall. I told her Hawker's Alley was her best bet for the latest chatter, so you may, you may find her wandering thereabouts. Keep an eye out for our hero and lass in a red tunic carrying a spear on her back. She can't have gone too far. You're like to find Losh kind of wandering around Hawker's about wandering about Hawker's alley. Remember, her and lass, red tunic, big spear. Okay, I, I just need to double check that. Yep, my mic's working. Hawker's alley. I could have just kept running. I didn't need to teleport. Oh, I think I forgot to check on my trainers. What the fuck kind of name is that? I, I went to go check the, the name of the both kids of the, the Spy Kids th franchise. Uh -huh. The guy is the guy has three middle names. Rocket Racer Rebel. Those Here. are not middle names. They're fucking words. <clears throat> Thirteen items left selling. Oh wow. That's it. Ugh, lame. This will probably sell for this price eventually. Get back to the uh, quest.
body for it. That's a amazing great. Kana. Oh, hello there, stranger. Can I help you? Yes, why do you have Thankard's hairstyle? Uh, she's from Tyrol, so she'd have that kind of accent. Nipia sent you to help, did he? Thing is, I've hit something of a dead end. No, she's not. I think she's from the south. Your timing couldn't be better. I suppose proper introductions are in order, then. I'm Lushkana of Shak Tyrol. Oh. That's the north, then. And you are? <clears throat> so she has, like, the, the western southern style, kind of western accent. Pleasure to meet you, Wild. With that, we're strangers no longer. I'm not sure how much Nip Nipian Nipian's t already told you, but I assume you'll want to hear more about the day of the day of the theft. My father and Nipia had just set a trap using one of the heartstrings toxins, and we were on their way and were on their way to return the treasure to its resting place. But an evil presence stirred in the wilds that night. Mechanical dolls with great glowing eyes leapt from the shadows and gravely wounded them both. My father survived the th counter, thankfully, but he was unable to give chase, and now and Convalus is now in my home village. The culprit's faces eluded him in the darkness, but, I, but we heard two voices, a man and a woman's. He recognized neither, so we're certain they aren't from our village. Whoever those two were, they must have been the ones controlling the dolls before making off with the heartstring. Broke said they're part of the Passage of the Unbound, but I'm afraid that's all I know of the culprits. Still, that may change if I can ascertain the cause of the recent blinded incidents that have occurred here. Unfortunately, I haven't had much luck asking around. The thought of addressing even one person here is, well, overwhelming. When you're from a remote village like mine, the few I've attempted to speak with were too busy to even listen in the first place. You, on the other hand, look ready to take on the world, or at least this city. I'm sorry to ask this of you so soon after we met, but could you help me gather the latest hearsay of the, at the markets? Many, many thanks. I'll search the quieter districts for clues in the meantime, and hopefully not get lost myself along, not get myself lost along the way. Zwinberg. Recent chaos in the markets. I'm told the Yellow Jackets have been thoroughly investigating the matter in cooperation with the Adventurers Guild. If you're hurt in a hurry, there's Yellow Jacket making her way, making her rounds by way of the Fisherman's Guild. She'd be a good one to ask. Yellow Jackets, aren't those the? I don't know. The market incidents are in the Yellow Jackets' hands now. If you find one, I meant you find the one I mentioned. Perhaps she'll have the answers you seek. Right. Uh, each of the each of the city states has like two different uh, sets of um, guards and stuff, like the Grand Company, and then the other ones. I don't remember who the ones are for here. Are. I mean, I guess it's the Yellow Jackets. I mean, obviously it's the Yellow Jackets. Um, because I like I I know the blades off the top of my head. That's easy because I started out in Ulda. Um, they're called the Blades, right? <laughs> Bansing. 
blinding incidents, I, I know of them. Started with some bad fruit at a stall in Auker's Alley. A few buys in and folks suddenly go writhing on the ground like beach sea serpents claiming they can't see a bloody thing. It's like some sort of sickness has just magically invaded and has spread all around. Yeah. Oh. Um, which quest have you done? Yeah. Oh, I've only just started. Okay. I don't blame him for raising hells with the shopkeep, neither. Or sods couldn't move an ilm until the treatment came and they could see properly. The shopkeep was rightly furious about the whole ordeal and took it up with his longtime supplier. Escalated into a real spectacle, it did. Turns out the same problem was occurring at other stalls and through from different suppliers. So it don't make sense to pin the blame on individual sellers. If the whole supply chain's tainted, even now, nobody knows what's causing it. Grim business, I tell you. That shopkeep and his supplier got into a violent tussle, they did. Took nearly a dozen merchants to tear them apart. Oh my god. Rose. Why, yes, I know about the blinding incidents. I experienced it firsthand. I was rather peckish, so I purchased some fruit from a local stall and took a few bites on my way home. But before I knew it, my vision went dark. I stood there, shaking, crying, terrified of what would happen if the darkness never faded. I thought I was alone until I heard a woman nearby howling with laughter. Fortunately, I didn't suffer for long. A passing adventure cured my sight with Essena, and I went about the rest of my day as though nothing happened. But I haven't been able to look at fruit the same way since. Your investigation of Hawker's Alley has proven successful, but you sense there's more to be found. Seek out the yellow jacket on patrol, who may have further details on the blinding incident. So there's a lot that could be going on at this point, but the Zuna works, so that does pull out stupid. Stupid not what's going on here. <laughs> I'm relieved my sight could be healed with Essena. I don't know what I'd have done if that adventurer hadn't passed by. I'm curious, if I did this quest as a, uh... What if I do this as a scholar? Will it... Oh, no, wait, no, it's it's still Essena. Regardless, I just, I forgot. They don't, they don't call it something different for each class. Maybe, didn't they used to call, uh, the Essena for each healer class differently? The what? Essena. Didn't they used to call it div a different name for each healer class? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm disappointed they changed it because I would have liked to see uh, what would happen if they had the different names and I swapped to different classes. If they would have called it... Like, if her dialogue would have changed to use the different names for the Essena counterparts for the other classes. I mean, I, I imagine it would have. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm saying I'm just disappointed that it is not the case anymore. So many people. I will say, I'm not, if only because you had jobs like Scholar, who got their Azuna at level 40, uh -huh. and that was too late. Yeah. I, uh... Having one uniform Azuna, I think, is... Yeah. I'd love if it was still the, the old names, but, you know, we can't have leeches to throw at people anymore, I guess. Really? Was one of them called leeches? Scholar had leeches. That's hilarious. And uh, and uh, Astro had essential dignity, and White Mage had Azuna, obviously. Oh my God, I remember essential dignity. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, elemental Exalt. detriment. Elemental. Exalt. Oh, okay. Exalted detriment. Yes. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> essential dignity is still a thing. It's the, yeah. It's the heal. Right. Yeah. Silly. It uh, sounds it sounded similar, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Twelve be good. You're wild flame, aren't you? The Wild Flame. It's an honor to meet the realm's vaunted hero up close. Oh my god. Hero worship. I haven't had that since I set foot on Tyrol. Oh my god. I need this. 
Keep going, lady. The ash is influencing you. Nah, it's just after after having after being on a continent where nobody knows who the hell he is for so long, he started to miss the hero worship. Oh yes, the serial blindings. They're causing a terrible ruckus around here. You know, a woman in red came this way a few moments ago to ask about the very same. I take it you two are acquainted? Oh, there's a special fate in Diabolos in living memory. Aha, I thought so. As I told her, another incident was reported yes yesterday morning. The victim brought bought fruit from a local vendor, took a few bites, and then temporarily lost all vision. Same as the rest. The vendor in question was last seen to the south of Octant. So I'm heading there, headed there next to follow their trail. You're welcome to join me if it'll help your investigation. Tower of Moon. I knew it. I knew that stupid thing was going to have a, a thing. Oh, maybe she didn't. Yeah, she didn't fucking load. C -c 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 can't move. Seriously, game? You're, you're, you're gonna act like you're a piece of crap right now. Are there any settings I can do? Wild, is this man going to be all right? That's a man. He's paralyzed. We've got to do something. But I have no talent for healing magics, and I don't have any spine drops on me either. Perhaps Essena might do the trick? I'm just going to lower the volume. He's going to need Essena, and quickly. Ba -ba -ba. I'm healed? I'm healed! Oh, thank the Twelve, and you lot, of course. Excellent work, Wild. On behalf of the Yellow Jackets, I owe you my thanks as well. Now, I hate to ruin the mood, but I, well, I'll need to report this to my superiors. Could you tell us what transpired here before we found you, sir? It was awful. Just awful, I tell you. I was walking home after another arduous day at work, minding my own business, when a Lollafella merchant suddenly called out to me. <gasps> Lolo Rito, we'll have to kill him. No, no, it, it wasn't him. You, my good man, look exhausted, he, he said. Why not soothe your weary spirit and fill your empty belly with one of the realm's sweetest apples? You've earned it. Nay, you deserve it. It was a tempting sales pitch, but I wasn't keen to gamble on potentially cursed fruit. Seeing my apprehension, he proudly declared his merchandise safe to eat. He sounded sincere enough. He sounded sincere enough. He even took a bite of the apple himself. No tainted fruit here, he boasted. Just honest, nor just normal, honest to God's produce. So I went and bit into the apple that he bit. He sold me the apple at a reasonable discount, and all seemed well. Little did I know he'd been spent years building up an immunity to iocane powder. That is, until I took my first bite, and numbness spread through my, through my body like wildfire. I collapsed to the ground, struggling to speak a single word. The vendor and his fruit had suddenly betrayed me, yet I knew not how. As I fell, a woman's shrill laughter echoed from a few yalms away. 
and the vendors soon followed. I never saw the woman for myself, but what the whole, but with what with the whole not being able to move business, but between her laughing fits, she made mention of a heart string or some such. Oh, you poor, oh you, oh you poor dear, and this woman you mentioned, you're positive she spoke the word heart string? As surely as the wind blows. For a mercy, neither she nor her vendor friend tried to steal my belongings. But they've certainly stolen my dignity. I hope those conniving charlatans get what's coming to them. Ugh. This is a dangerous fruit we're, de this is dangerous fruit we're dealing in. First blindness, now paralysis. But, first things first. I should escort this man home. If you have a mind to pursue the perpetrators further, then have care out there, alright? There's no doubt about it, then. Our thieves are at large, right here in Limsa Lominsa. The blinding toxin is simple enough to master, but it's unsettling how quickly they've learned to inflict paralysis as well. I just don't see what purpose this all serves. Were you able to learn anything of their motives? They seem to want to cause chaos. So they take pleasure in their victim's pain, but nothing more. At least, nothing more that we know of. It's like they want to just... Spread fear and then observe and, and delight in their fear. Whatever their true aim may be, we must discover it quickly before... Oh wait, I forgot to do the accent for her. Whatever their true aim may be, we must discover it quickly before more victims suffer at their hands. Ah, uh, a hunter must adapt to their environment if they wish to snare their prey. But I have so much to learn about this place. Still, I've tracked them this far, which is a good start. For the time being, I'd like to petition those officers in yellow for any new information they they acquire in, on the hot strings whereabouts. If no, when we come across any promising leads, I hope I can count on your support again. Stay wild. Can you spare a moment? I'll try to start on a positive note then. The good news is that there have been no incident, further incidents involved being pro poison fruit. I should be happy about that, but it's not exactly conductive to tracking down our thieves. Despite my best attempts, my investigation is at a standstill. Uh, wild! I bring news from the Coral Tower. A Lala Felon man matching the description of that fruit vendor was seen leaving the city with a Huron woman. It seems they were making for Aleport. We've increased patrols of late, so if I had to guess, the culprits are finding it harder to operate within the city. It seems we forced them to withdraw for the time being. <coughs> Excuse me. Hellport, you say? Hellport, you say? That's on this island, isn't it? Yes, that's right. It's possible to go on foot, but the ferry by the Fisherman's Guild can take you straight there. While we Yellow Jackets must continue to keep an eye on things here, uh, wrong. While we Yellow Jackets must continue to keep an eye on things here. It's reassuring to know that an adventure of wild caliber is on the case. If you plan to pursue the suspects, Aleport's your best bet. That said, I should get back to work. It was an honor to meet you and your friend, Wild. Safe travels to you both, and give those cooks a good thrashing for me.
City's protectors place so much trust in your abilities. I'm lucky to have you on my side. When I first set sail for Eorzea, I feared I'd never see the heartstring again. But we're one step close to bringing it home. In any event, we'd best find our way to the port town before that pair of troublemakers defiles another fruit supply. I'll go on and ahead and take the ferry. Meet me in Aleport once you're ready. the hells oh right I need to turn on some of the specs Ah, there you are, Wild. You're a welcome sight. You're a welcome sight among such unfamiliar scenery. The ferry skipper was eager to teach me all about this area on the right here, so I believe I have a general idea of what's what. Of what's what. Wouldn't want to lose my bearings on the hunt this important. I asked him about our merchants, but he said he hadn't seen a pair like that. <clears throat> the skipper did mention another merchant, though, one who's well versed in the comings and goings of his fellow traders. If anyone sighted our unlikely duo, it's him. Let's hope it's enough to put us on the culprit's trail again. The merchant we seek should be peddling his wares by the gates of Skull Valley, so let's start there. <clears throat> He matches the skipper's description. I think we found our merchant. Hey, can I help you? A Lalafil and a here traveling together? I I spied him. Though I'd never seen him before. They certainly made an impression. They sold some potions and elixirs to a pair of fresh faced adventurers on the chief, from what I can tell. If those merchants really are our culprits, and those potions are most likely tainted with toxins. Toxins, you say? That don't bode well. The adventurers who bought them, a marauder named Wislam, 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 and a conjurer named Zerig, already left for their next job, said they were escorting one of the local farmers over to Switch per Swift Perch. They're good lads, the two of them. They've been making life easier for the small folk here ever since they arrived, and I'd hate to see something happen to them. Happen to them. Someone needs to warn him about those potions right quick. Leave that to us. Switchfish is southeast of here, yes. Let's find them before the poison takes hold. Hey, come here, puppy. To where I am, basically. Okay. To grab something. Uh, we don't have jackpot. We need somebody to purchase it. Don't. Maybe. Okay. What? Always doing the bad things, yes. The Fury already grabbed his and, and everything. I have a spot. Maybe I'm real in the stands. Okay. Hey, wait, first you go to redeem.finalfantasyx1b.com. There you put this code, and they are going to give you the code that you're going to put your most multiplication. I have a supplier to meet elsewhere, so I can't stay long. But please, find those lads before it's too late. Keep your eyes peeled for a Rugadin Marauder and a Huron Conjurer on the road to Swiftbirch. That'll be Wistelnum and Vizerig. 
<laughs> Ugh, I think I'm getting allergies or something. This feels like allergies. Hello, Fraud Farmer. Hello, Wislam. Whistle. Hello, Zerig. Hello, Lushkana. Oh, look, Mammoths. Well, Puppy only has one character, but. Oh, right. Oh, right. I forgot that's a thing. Thanks for your help, Loshkata. Stay on your guard, Wild. We're being watched. I I can't hick stop these blasted hick hiccups. Please, you must hick aid whistle. What 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 kind of status effect are the hiccups? Are they that supposed to is that interrupt? Is that si is it imagine if silence was actually I mean no silence is probably like literally like you're muted and you're rendered mute. Um, imagine if interrupt or or something else was like uh, like your character just can't stop hiccuping so they can't cast spells because they can't speak. Wouldn't that just be like a weird kind of paralysis? Huh. Well, yeah, may maybe, but we already established that paralysis paralyzes you. Hiccupisis. It's paralysis, but only for casters. Phew, mm -hmm. thank the gods you found us when you did. Those potion sellers must have swindled us. One draft of elixir was all it took to send Zerg into the most furious fit of hit hiccups I have ever seen. Poor bastard couldn't cast a single spell. Who are you hit calling a hit a poor bastard? If the heartstrings toxins are at work here, we should be able to cleanse them with Essena, just like last time. I'm sorry, did you say... Oh, sod it. We'll have plenty of time to chat after Zarek stops hiccuping up a storm. I hate to ask more of you, but if you could cast Essena on my partner, it'd be much appreciated. What? What are you looking at? I mean, I guess there's the people probably around. I, I'm I'm curious if there's if the people are actually... It would be, uh... Really... It, it would be a nice touch if, um... If like the, the the bad guys were just kind of like lurking around somewhere, it'd be nicer a nice touch if like you know on this on non traversable surface if they were just kind of like peering over here, a place you know we can't legitimately reach. If the hot strings toxins are at work here, you should be able to cleanse Zerub's hiccups with Essena. While you do, I'm gonna keep watch. I have a feeling our troubles aren't over yet. The last in red said Essena would cure Zerig, right? Go on then. He's a stubborn eye, but he won't bite. That was too bloody close for comfort. Thanks for saving our arses, lad. Gods, this is hick embarrassing. Glare. I'll put him out of his misery. I I can speak again. You have my thanks. Bloody hells. First we waste our hard earned coin on poison potions, and now there are killer mammoths on the loose? What's the world coming to? Wait, are they that close? That's bullshit. Who goes there? Show yourself. Oh, oh me, oh my. Our spear-wielding friend is sharp of eye.
<clears throat> you, you're the frauds from Aleport. Why, yes. And watching your scrawny companion suffer was the highlight of our day. I admit the poison was meant to silence him, but hiccups? Twas comedy at its finest. Okay, so it was a misapplied silence. I was right the first time. <laughs> oh, but I dismissed it. Perhaps the elixir reacted with the venom. Regardless, we've had our fill of fun from the results, so I shan't complain. Venom? Then you must be the thieving cowards from the right passage of the Unbound. Oh, my sweet fairy apple. You know us? I suppose that means we're famous. I can't believe it. Oh, who am I kidding? Yes, I can. Hmm? Oh, uh... Are you at the FC house? I don't I don't actually know how to do it. Nate, and somebody needs to get the FC action up. I'm I'm in a cutscene. Indeed, I am the passage of, un, of the Unbound's alchemist extraordinaire, the illustrious Ellaret. And I am so very very pleased to make your acquaintance. Coco Noah at your service, Eleret's helping hand and master of mammoths. Your garb is ever so familiar to me, my dear. Ah, don't tell me. You hail from that little village in Tyrol, don't you? My goodness, you've come a long way. How is the voyage? Enjoying the sights? Enough, enough. You've got a lot of explaining to do. It's honor the reason you took the heartstring. Is this part of your organization's grand scheme? Oh, well, well, the apple bites back. It is true that my unbound compatriots harbor lofty admissions, yes, but I have no interest in overthrowing nations. I merely crave the mires of chaos they promised me. I aim to bring more laughter into this dreary world. One mischief and a few handy poisons at a time. Kokonoa and I are having oodles of fun expanding our repertoire of toxic treats. Yet, there's no greater kill to our thrills than a healer who can whisk our hard work away. Unless, of course, I master of toxin even he can't cure. Ooh, I do love a challenge. Now, I hate to leave you, my dears, but our work here is done, and we've a busy schedule ahead of us. Mammoths to mend, venomous misdeeds to master, ta-ta for now. I could kill her with a glare. No, wait, damn you. You say that, but I mechanically doubt you could. Probably. Er, that stench. It smells like a corpse just shat itself. Like, I feel like my hypothesis of, like, the, the Warrior of Light is powerful, and potentially the most powerful person on the, the surface of the planet. But, we're not, like, 50 times more powerful than anything and can insta-kill anything. We're not gods. Yeah, fair. I mean, we, we can beat gods, though. We can survive god attacks. We can do... I'm sure, like, the, the, the amount of damage we do to a god in one attack could probably just wipe out a regular person. So, there was still 24 of us every time we fought, fought any god. That's true. I mean, is that canon? I, I think it is. I, I, I don't know. Unless unless they specifically say we're taking on adventurer friends, I think, like, with the myths of the realm, I think we are canonically fighting alone. Uh, you were saying, Puppy? Uh, I, I was... I was second. Okay. This odor is too much to bear. Take me home to the Twelveswood, Wisdom. The air is clearer there. Oh, no. Don't you dare give out on me, Zarek. We still got a job to do. We mustn't keep our client waiting any longer, but we're in your debt. Thank you again for everything, Miss... Er... 
Lushkana. Lushkana, and this year is wild. Take care of each other out there. Ah, uh, much as I'd like to track down the unbound, I know it's better that to tread. I know my better than to tread in further into their territory without a plan. Now I think it best we return to Limsa Lominsa. Thank you for the support back there, Wild. Estina truly does work wonders. And that Ellaret, I can't stop thinking about what she said. My blood boils knowing this is all a sick game to her. <clears throat> How dare she toy with a heartstring for her own amusement. Honestly, even the youngest children in my village have more sense. Still, we did make progress. Now that the villains have revealed themselves, it'll be easier to give chase when they choose to make their next move. In any case, I'll keep you apprised of the latest news as soon as I hear it. We'll be back to the hunt before long. <clears throat> uh. Okay. Uh, maybe somebody has to do the jackpot for puppy. Yes. And it's probably a good time for me to, once I finish this quest, go ahead and stop the recording and uh, then we can just move on to whatever weeklies or dailies we have left to do. Definitely weeklies first. Yep. Are you going to do this on Mika with us, or nah? What part? Uh, whatever weeklies we're going to do. No? Okay.
right. I, I said something like that. Yeah, that's true. And we have some raids to do. Oh, yes. Uh, that's something to check. I might have one still. I definitely need two, Gary. Oh, God. I need to lose two. Uh, I still need one because we never ran one on the Yeah, I need our two. Yep. <clears throat> I'll just start this so I have it on my journal. Oh, it's you, Wild. You'll have to forgive the dour mood. I just don't understand. I don't understand it. How is it Elret and Kokonoa can so grandiosely reveal their names and identities, yet I remain unable to track them down? I've been following the latest hearsay, but I haven't had much luck. Not a soul seen them since the incident with Whistlem, Whistlem and Zerig. But that's not to say I've given up entirely. Now that I know they, I, now that they know I'm on their trail, I suspect they're using my unfamiliarity with the uh, with this island to their advantage. I dare say they're hiding, they're laying low outside the city. That's why I propose a trip to the Morabi Dry Docks. Folk here speak, often speak of it, but I've yet to go there myself. So it seems as good a place as any. You're, if you're game, I'll, I'll meet you there. Okay. Lance, you should get online. I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap up the recording there. I'll continue streaming, though, since we're going to be doing stuff. Okay, though. Gonna... If, we're doing, uh, if we're doing the raids first, Sage. All right. <clears throat> well... If uh if you're if you watched then I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. No, I don't know. I'm not gonna do the stream over thing just in case that gets like. I still need like a whole minute before I swap over, but uh, Fury, if you want to turn on the FC action, it's not that complicated sure. to do. Okay, I'll do that myself. All right then. Ending recording. Pretty much now. just have to uh